This is Twit. A brand new, the some of the first, the very first coverage confused this with Spectre and Meltdown, and this has nothing to do with Spectre and Meltdown. We know that AMD chips have never been susceptible to the Meltdown problem, and, but that they do need some microcode fixes in order to help them mitigate the Spectre problem. So there's that. But a brand new, completely different and kind of and just coincidental timing set of 13 critical flaws <coughs> have just been reported to affect AMD's Ryzen and Epic processors. Uh, you may want to pull up this site, amdflaws.com. There, I mean, these people are not being shy about their reporting. They've, they've, they're, they've got, hey, you know, they registered a domain name. They're serious. <laughs> they registered a they're domain. Serious. They've got graphics artists at work. They've got videos. They've got. Facts. But this is not they're, AMD. They're, this is the the a, the group that discovered it. Correct. Is that so right? the, the yeah. group, the group is yes. The group is CTS Labs. Oh, and you can imagine AMD is not happy right now. They were they were given, as I mentioned at the top of the show, one day. 24 hours notice of this all going public. But this has a is, good name, which means it's going to spread like wildfire. Because it's all about the name, right? <laughs> it's Rise and Fall, I like it. <laughs> That's actually a brilliant name. So the, the group is CTS Labs. They're an Israeli uh, Tel Aviv-based team of researchers. Um, their press release dated March 13th, which is today... 8 a.m., I'm sorry, 10 a.m. Eastern, said, CTS Labs, a cybersecurity research firm and consultancy, today released a severe security advisory on Advanced Micro Devices, Inc. processors. A CTS Labs security audit, they write, revealed multiple critical security vulnerabilities and manufacturer manufacturer backdoors in AMD's latest Epic, that's E-P-Y-C, Ryzen, Ryzen Pro, and Ryzen Mobile processors. Now, technically, these are in the chipsets, that is the supporting chips, but we'll get, that in, we'll get to that in a second. These vulnerabilities have the potential to put organizations at significantly increased risk of cyber attacks. CTS Labs has produced a white paper uh, report further detailing these vulnerabilities available at amdflaws.com. And there's like several offers on that page to download the white paper, which, of course, I did and spent some time with it. CTS Labs has also shared this information with, uh, I'll say I'll add pair, uh, you know, editorially, yesterday, AMD, <laughs> Microsoft, HP, Dell, and select security companies in order that they may work on developing mitigations and patches and examine and research these and other potential vulnerabilities at the company. Um, that is to say AMD. CTS Labs has also shared this information with relevant U.S. regulators. CTS Labs they write, is a cybersecurity research firm and consultancy based in Tel Aviv, Israel, specializing in hardware and embedded systems security. For more information about CTS Labs, please see cts-labs.com. Okay, so as I've said, the vulnerabilities don't affect AMD's Zen CPU cores themselves, but rather two different chips that are part of the Ryzen and Epic system set. The first is the ARM-based AMD Secure processor, which, as I mentioned before, is kind of like their, their equivalent of the Secure Enclave. And the second is known as the, the Promontory chipset, which is produced by Taiwanese subcontractor AS Media um, and... These people are not happy about the work that AS Media, that is C CTS Labs, is uh, unhappy about that. So they're, all there has been so far from AMD, because, I mean, this just happened, is that AMD responded, quote, at AMD, 
Security is a top priority, and we're continually working to ensure the safety of our users as new risks arise <clears throat> daily. <clears throat> we, th they continue, we are investigating this report, which we just received to understand the methodology and merit of the findings. And so I need to say also that I mean, my first reaction upon seeing this was, okay, wait, uh, maybe we should hold off saying anything. Um, like, but you know, that would mean a week delay rather than a day delay. And so I thought, well, no, the, the best that could happen is that it turns out that this is wrong, but this, it seems the more I looked at it and dug into their research, the more credible and, and and verifiable this appeared. Okay, so what happened? Um, 13 critical security vulnerabilities and what they describe as manufacturer backdoors were discovered throughout AMD, Ryzen, and Epic product lines. Um, in their little Q&A that is on at, at the, at the um, uh, amdflaws.com site, they said, am I affected? And the answer, any consumer or organization purchasing AMD servers, workstations, or laptops are affected by these vulnerabilities. And, of course, we have to back that off a little bit and say if they contain these affected chipsets. And uh, so they said the site is to inform the public about the vulnerabilities and call upon AMD and the security community to fix the vulnerable products. Well, I doubt that much calling upon will be necessary. But there is, they have another site, safefirmware.com, where the white paper can be found at forward slash AMD flaws underscore white paper dot PDF. So there are a total of four vulnerabilities, three in firmware and one in hardware. And this chimera is the fourth hardware vulnerability, which is unfixable, they claim, th because it is a hardware problem. It is something, apparently, a backdoor built into, presumably by this AMD subcontractor, we'll get to in a second. The other three, there's Rise and Fall, there's Fallout and Master Key, are firmware vulnerabilities, which presumably can be fixed. These guys in their research did succeed in rewriting the firmware remotely of, of this firmware reprogrammable um, uh, outboard chip that does the security and were able to, instor, to install persistent threats into the firmware. So it looks to me like the biggest problem, I mean, just in terms of practical remediation, is with Chimera. Um, and so they write backdoors inside Ryzen chipset. The Chimera vulnerabilities are an array of hidden manufacturer backdoors inside AMD's promontory chipsets. These chipsets are an integral part of all Ryzen and Ryzen Pro workstations. There exist two sets of backdoors differentiated by their implementation. One is implemented, implemented, excuse me, within the firmware running on the chip, while the other is inside the chip's ASIC, you know, uh, yeah, well, ASIC hardware. Um, because the latter has been manufactured into the chip, a direct fix may not be possible, and the solution may involve either a workaround or a recall. The back doors outlined in this section, I'm reading from their paper, provide multiple pathways for malicious code execution inside the chipset's internal processor. Because the chipset is a core system component, running malware inside the chip could have far-reaching security implications. 